Hi, everybody. My name is John DiPietro. And I'm Bob Zagami with the Camper Report Show. And on this Camper Report Show, we've got an anniversary to celebrate because we're going to talk with Dan and Patty Hunt, who are the hosts of the RV Life podcast, one of America's most popular podcasts. And I guess you're hitting the road, right? I'm going to hit the road, hit the road and catch a couple of uh, the big shows, the uh, the Boston RV show the third week in January. But before I do that, I'm going to hit the Tampa Super Show, uh, 17th to the 21st of January, which is one of the largest RV shows in the country. And anybody who's anybody who's got an RV, everybody should go to the Tampa, the, actually they call it the Florida Super Show. It's in Tampa at the state fairgrounds. Everybody should go at least once, at least so once. We're going to be looking forward to the interviews that you'll be gathering at those two yeah. locations. So those stories, plus all the news of the week from our friends at RV Business and Woodalls. What what are their names again? I forget the names of those uh, two. I think it's uh, Rick Kessler uh, with RV Business and Ben Quiggle with Woodalls Campground Magazine. Stay with us, everyone. We've got a great show for you. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Kemp Report Show. My name is John DePietro. That gentleman sitting over there is Bob Sagami. And Bob, uh, you know what? RVing today. RVing TV today. Is that the right title of the show? Nope. RVing today TV. Oh, okay. I knew, you know what? There's TV, TV there's TV RV, there. there's, right. there's everything involved. But um, we've been working with them for quite a while, for several years, in fact. And they've got a new alliance, if you will. Not our alliance the uh, RVs that we've worked with, but an right. alliance with one of America's most popular campgrounds. Talk a little bit about that. Yeah, uh, RVing Today is actually headquartered here in Massachusetts in Mattapoisett with Jose Moniz, the executive producer. And he has teamed up with Marsha Galvin over at Normandy Farms. As you say, they are always in the top 10, any, any listing of great campgrounds or RV resorts in the country. They are there, and they're going to be filming a lot of the segments for the show from an RVing Today standpoint, but also filming segments from Normandy Farms because they have a lot of events at Normandy Farms. One is our favorite one up here, the Northeast Region Camping Charity that's held every September with their Halo's Wish Foundation, which is kind of a localized make-a-wish for needy children here in the uh, New England area. But they also have an annual uh, dog show that is very popular. They're talking to Chris Darty, the RV PhD, good friend of ours, to do some seminars down there for the campers who are already on the property. And uh, they'll be filming some of those segments. So there's a lot of different things that uh, RVing Today has got planned there. So from a, from a television standpoint, they got when they go to the dog show, they already have a section on the RVing today about pause on board. So that veterinarian will be there. Yeah. So they're going to combine the forces of both. I think it's a great opportunity for all of them. Number one, it gives, yep. the, it gives it do it on site. And, and the campers are going to have a great opportunity to go up, watch the filming, meet the personalities. And right. they just continue to add uh, different things down at Normandy Farms. Kind of like when they do the Today Show from the um, front of yep. the from the building yeah. down at Rockefeller Center. So that's something to look forward to. And again, all of that will be captured on tape and uh, presented to a national audience in that particular show. Now, yeah, and we'll, and also- we'll, we'll, And we'll, we'll give it the heads up on when we when we know yep. the full schedule, we'll obviously give you advanced information for it also. Yep. Perfect. And yeah. um, Oliver Trailers, um, we've talked about them in the past, but they've got some new dealerships lined up and uh, talk about that. Actually, they're just starting to go through the dealer network. Now, they've been out there for about 18 years. So this is not a, a company starting up and hoping they can find dealers to sell their product. They've mm -hmm. done very well without dealers up until this point in time. They want to prove the theory, and they sell factory direct. But they've just set up their first dealer, uh, Southland RV, down in Georgia. And I believe they're an Airstream dealer. And they up in the New England area, they set up Tim's RV. So they're looking for people who can concentrate on value products. These are not inexpensive products. Right now, the retail price on their uh, entry level one is $66,000. Their Elite Legacy Elite Two, which is the one that most dealers are expressing interest in, is $74,000. Now that could be half the price of an Airstream. 
but it's a double hulled fiberglass unit that is never going to link leak and it's built like a, a yacht and extremely well and they're built in Tennessee it's not it's not built up in Elkhart where 85 percent of the RVs are built yeah. so they've, they've already had a great reputation now kind of like the shoes on the other foot it's an opportunity for dealers to talk to them to see if they can convince them to let them be the person in a particular geographic area that's going to handle the all of our travelers. Yep. Yep. You know, it's a great name and now it'll be um, available where people can actually uh, touch and feel the unit right uh, before. Yeah, they buy. And, and, so. and you're going to see it at a lot of the consumer shows. I know Tim's RV who has it up in New England will be bringing the all of our trailers to the Boston, Boston RV and camping expo on yep. January 25th to 28th at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center. So all the people in New England, they're going to get their first peek at it. First peek. And um, you know what? Outdoor Recreation Roundtable used to have a... It's a, it's a tr trade association of several regional and national associations, but they've got a new program coming out. Talk briefly about that. Yeah, this is exciting for people who are outside the large metropolitan areas. It's called, the, they, they've developed what's called the Rural Development Toolkit. And it's for rural areas. And, and ORR is made up of people like the RVIA, the RVDA, the Marine Boating Association, the Motorcycle Association, the Outdoor Association. Any association that ha has members who do things in the outdoors, so what they're doing is they're taking this out into rural America. They've developed a toolkit and cities and towns and state forests, state parks can attend a special seminar on uh, January 24th at 2 p.m. where the, per the ORR vice president, Chris Perkins, who actually developed the toolkit, will be presenting it and what the benefits are and how people can get grants and and expand the internet into these rural areas. That's always an issue when they come up, talk about well, internet and uh, Wi-Fi availability. So we have yeah. to make sure that if you really want to make sure that everybody in the country has access to it, this is a good step in the right direction. Exactly. And you know what? The uh, big event that we've been talking about for the past few weeks uh, kicks off in about a week and a half or so when um, the Quartzsite Crawl starts and kicks off from Tallahassee, Florida. And heads all the way to to uh, Quartzsite, Arizona. Uh, we're looking forward to it. We leave with about uh, fifteen RVs in Florida, and pick up several others along the way. And we've got some great sponsors along that route, such as Winnebago, such as Go RVing, such as um, Easy RV Care. Life. Spot like. tonight, Spacious Skies Campgrounds. I hope I don't forget any here. RV and, Life. Um, oh, RV Life. The Trip Wizard. And yeah. um, the Trip Wizard and um, RV Business, as we've mentioned before. Yeah. Um, and we're looking forward to it. Um, hopefully, we'll be able to get from New England to Florida without any weather issues. The weather forecast looks pretty good right now. But we're well, going to be re reporting. Uh, like you said, we, we're, we're heading out on the road and we'll be having a lot of uh, on the road type interviews over the next month or so, like two months and uh, look forward to it. Right. And Campers Inn as well. And actually, you know, in an hour, I'm heading up to Campers Inn to talk to the people there about uh, some special things that we're going to be doing along the route. So with that being follow, said, and you, can, and you can follow Campers Inn all the way from New York, all the way down to Florida. Yep. Yep. And I know I'm stopping at a couple of the stores along the way. Yep. So um, that's our new segment. And uh, stay with us because we've got a great interview with the anniversary couple, Dan and Patty Hunt. Right here. Where, Bob? On the Camper Report Show. Everybody, welcome back to the Camp Report Show. You know, this is the part of the show where we get to talk to 
interesting people that also happen to be our viewers. But this show is a little bit more special than normal because we get to talk to our cousins from the RV Life Network. And we are talking now with a couple that's just celebrating a very important anniversary. Dan and Patty Hunt from the RV Life Podcast. Welcome, guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank you for having us. So you are in your RV. You've been full-timing for three years. Give us a little bit of your background about um, what you did before you jumped into the RV lifestyle with uh, both feet. I'll go first. Um, before jumping in with both feet, I was a teacher, a high school teacher for about 20 years. And I had quit my job a couple years early. Er, and then we actually moved out to Las Vegas to work on entertainment type stuff that's Dan's background. I'll let you take it. Right. I was working on a putting together a show uh, that was going to be at Valley's. And we were just about to open um, and when we were just about to open, Bally's called us into a meeting and said, because of COVID, we are not going to be open our stages for at least a year, no matter what. Now, this was right in the middle of COVID. So, yeah. uh, that was a bad, bad thing because we had a lot of money invested in this show. And uh, we ended up just walking away from it, unfortunately. So, so was Jubilee still going to be running, or were you taking taking over Jubilee's room? Taking the Jubilee Theater, we were going to use the Jubilee Theater, but that show Jubilee hasn't been there for a while. Ah, okay, okay. And now Bally's is no longer Bally's. Bally's is no longer Bally's. It's right. Just so I, I, it's got a funny name. I can't remember what it is, but. Um... I know last time we were there, they were actually, you know what? It was the actual day they were taking the marquee down, the big marquee that was on the uh, on the thing. The thing I remember the most about Bally's is we lost so much money. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. It was it. But <clears throat> anyway, the thing is this. You are where you are. And most people in the RV industry have um, gotten into it coming from successes in other areas and which have allowed them to take those same techniques and uh, apply them to the media portion of the RV industry, which you have done very successfully. And you've got the RV Life podcast. Uh, tell us about that very important uh, anniversary that you just celebrated a couple weeks ago. We just had our one year anniversary uh, with RV Life as the RV Life podcast. Hmm. And, uh, you know, it, it came about very coincidentally, the way that it happened is, um, we were doing a lot of work and we were speakers for RV life. We did the at the Hershey RV show yep. at Seattle. We spoke for RV life in the seminar rooms. And I was working on putting together a podcast just for Patty and I. And we were on a call with Patrick one day and said, do you know anything about podcasting? And I'm like, yeah, we are we're, putting together a show right now. We're starting to work on a show right now. And he's like, well, uh, we're, uh, we're thinking of making some changes in the podcast that we have and moving in different directions. And so we were, Hey, we, we would love to listen. And we took that conversation and went to Tampa and sat down at Tampa and came up with a, a deal. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually in Hershey in September. In September, we yeah. We started talking. We were in Hershey in September, met with Patrick and Andy, Andy, the owner of RV Life. And the end of October was our first podcast. And it's just, it's, I can't believe it's been a year. Like well, you, you know, the thing is this, I mean, in, it, it appears as though you have a weekly show. So there's at least 50 shows that are done by now. Yeah. Uh, Five now, yeah. 60. You know, 60. we are. Uh, this is actually this is show number one sixty, one hundred and sixty for for the wow. camp report show. So we want to, uh, but doesn't it doesn't amazingly go by so quickly though, doesn't it? The time, it, it really does, and the success that we've had uh, is really you know we are so grateful for the people that are out there listening to the show and all the support that we've got from RV Life. Uh, because we were told within the first month 
that we were in the top 10% of all podcasts worldwide. Oh, that's great. And just recently, our aggregator, the, the company that puts our podcast out to all the different platforms, yep. they're called Buzzsprout. They sent Patty an email that said, congratulations, you're now in the top 5% of all podcasts worldwide. So... Uh, it's it's kind of mind blowing, you know. We again, we started it a year ago. We had this mission of educating, entertaining, and informing all things RV life. We're really about inspiring people get out and fully live life. And right. to see a year plus have the success we have, we're, I, it just still blows my mind. I'm, cool. It's and you know what? As I look through your uh, list of prior episodes, you've had some very interesting content from the Albuquerque Balloon Festival, which is still on my bucket list, as well as, you know, talking about health insurance for people that, that are on the road that, um, you know, are not at a, at a sticks and bricks location. And even RV cooking, which can be a challenge. And, and many times RV cooking is nothing more than um, going to a Walmart and getting a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> and then, uh, putting it in the microwave that's considered rv cooking but where are you getting your ideas for um episodes well so and and i'll be honest that was one of the things that dan and patrick our other producers were concerned about is ideas and guests and we meet people along the way we now have PR people and assistants reaching out and saying, hey, this is a good podcast guest. They seem to be coming out of the woodwork. And then we we talk to someone and we go to come together as a team and decide, is this a good fit for the podcast? So guests are have been very plentiful. Yeah. Um, we're always looking to change things up, make things interesting, seeing what our listeners want to hear that's the big thing what's the listener want to hear so, are you getting a lot of a lot of listener feedback we we are um you know we have a segment in the show that's called question of the week where we take questions from our listeners and we've got questions for the next year lined up already so um i i'm very surprised at the feedback that we have Again, you know, great community. When you're talking about the RVer community, um, now we're on the full time side of the world, um, but still, you know, just today, I I'm sitting in the back of my coach and I'm working on a water problem that I was having, and the guy next door, whose front door was right about where I was sitting, he came out and said, "Hey, what's going on? How can I help you?" And then we started talking about the guy that's two spots down from us that has a newel. Oh. <laughs> I feel I feel very privileged to be parked uh, two spots away from a newel. Yeah. Although, you know what? Interestingly, many of the uh, components in that newel are the same ones that you've got in your unit. That's the crazy thing. And yeah. um, you know what? Um <laughs> Everybody has different units, but some are, you know, the, the thing is this, they, what, they dine, they they entertain six, they feed four, and they sleep two. Yes. So <laughs> exactly right. No matter I what, it all boils down to that. Seven. Where can people, um, I was going to say pick up, where, where can they get your podcast? Where can they listen to it? Can they subscribe to it so that they get it every week without having to go searching for it? Uh, tell us about where we can find you. Well, we're on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, but actually virtually any podcast platform that they want to listen. If they hit the download or subscribe, different platforms has different ones. They won't miss an episode. They'll be shown every episode. They left out Google. That's Google. One of the big ones. You want me to name all of them? Google. Huh? We Google all, all the oh, podcasts. Okay. No matter where you listen to a podcast, you can find the RV Life podcast. Yeah. Exactly. So um, just quickly, what do you got coming up uh, in the immediate future that people would have an interest in? We, have, so, we got top secrets coming out. So you got to sit quietly because we did. We have two phone calls from big industry leaders that have major announcements they want to do on the podcast. So we can't share that, but that is coming up. 
We will be in Tampa at the Tampa Super Show, and we will be broadcasting live for five days there. Every day of the show, we're going to do a live broadcast from, from the, the Freightliner, Freightliner booth. booth. So there's chairs, there's a tent, people can get a snack, come sit down and listen to the podcast live as it's being recorded. And ask a question or, you know, comment. I, I cool. usually take a mic and go out into the audience and talk to the people. Cool. Hey. The name of the podcast is the RV Life Podcast. And, Just RV Life Podcast. Yeah, okay. Andy. Andy got rid of the "the" for some reason. Oh, but... oh, oh, RV Life Podcast. Okay, exactly. So, um, uh, our guests have been Patty and Dan Hunt. We want to thank you so much for being with us and let you folks know that you are watching the Camp Report Show. <laughs> <laughs>